Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me. It is Sunday, May 14th, today, 2023. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. I hope you have a great Mother's Day today. Let me just shuffle the cards two more times and then we'll get right into your reading. We'll see what messages spirits have for you today, Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what your energy is today. The first card you've got is the Sun, Leo energy. The happiest card in the tarot deck. And then you have the Three of Cups. So you could be having a great Mother's Day today. With the Sun showing up as your first card. And then you have the Two of Wands. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the center card of your reading is the Nine of Coins. And then you have the Ace of Cups. The Magician. The Star, Aquarius energy. The Page of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck you have Judgment. And you have the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Cups is here. The Seven of Wands is there. The Nine of Wands is right there. Not sure if this is you or not. But, um... I'm feeling like there's, there's someone here in your life, Pisces, with the Knight of Cups energy that could be wearing you down. You got the Nine of Wands right underneath this. And then you have the Five of Pentacles. So something's wrong with the with um this connection all right so you have the seven of pentacles and you could be waiting for whoever this is to um to take some type of action here because it's like there's an investment of time, money, just an investment here that you have with someone. And you have the sun here, so there should be growth here. But for some reason, there's just an energy here of waiting. And then you have the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? You have the Page of Wands. And the Moon, Pisces energy. Pisces Cancer energy. And I'm feeling like that Moon is Pisces. I feel like that's you. You may have Cancer in your chart, or you could have a Cancer around you also, though. But there's two pages here on both sides of you, Pisces. I'm feeling like um, there's someone here that watches you and there's someone here in your energy right now. This might be a younger energy showing up here as a page, but there's two people around you and I'm seeing darkness with your energy showing up as the moon. It's like you're not aware of 
what exactly is going on here okay there's some darkness here and in, in a dim lit room or something where i'm saying room but i'm i'm feeling like you're you're in darkness here you're not really sure what's going around even on the moon card it's really drawing my attention we have a wild dog and we have a tame dog one on e each side here and the the moon is in the middle so you're you're in the middle of two people two energies here and it, then to top it off this is even the three of cups three people the next card you have is you have the two of wands so i'm feeling like you're standing at a crossroads here and you're really not sure which direction to go in you know should i turn right or should i turn left you have the ten of wands so this is really a nightmare because right beside this ten of wands you have the nine of swords it's like a reoccurring nightmare it's like you keep picking up burdens you keep picking up more and more and more responsibilities and burdens and you're just you're at your wits end with the two of wands it's like your head is hung down you're not really sure what to do to create balance which is why we have temperance here's your next card this is creating balance because I feel like this this is a lot of energy right here that's very difficult on you why is temperance here you may feel like you have so much on your back you just want to rest you you um yeah see the four of swords you just want to rest you just want to take a break and think things out i'm not sure if i told you guys that temperance card is sagittarius energy but whatever's going on in your life right now um you may be working a lot and so you're tired and it feels like it's just not getting you anywhere it's like you just keep pushing money out and and you still feel broke even though you're working a lot and so you're really with the king of swords energy next to the tower this is the king of the mind the king of thoughts you're really starting to think things out. You're starting to think about what you're doing and what you're putting your focus and your money into. And then you have the nine of pentacles here. I'm seeing you holding a pentacle close to yourself here. So I'm feeling like you need to bring your focus back on you because I feel like you're being pulled in too many different directions here. it's like you have three pages here you could have three children someone does why is the nine of coins here spirits pulling your focus back on you the nine of coins is a single energy so i'm feeling like what you're carrying around right now um you're about ready to make a judgment call a decision which is the overall energy here to just tell whoever this energy is to back off, back away, leave me alone. I can do everything much better by myself. I don't need you around me. Tell me more about this tower. This is something that you're not expecting. Why is the tower here? The devil, Capricorn energy. There's some type of toxic energy around you that um, is slowing you down and making you feel stuck. And it's, it's going to end. Whatever's making you feel stuck, I'm seeing you pulling away from it with this next card. Like I told you, the Nine of Pentacles. This is focusing on you. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Like something could actually be making you feel 
sick. It's like you're you're feeling worn out. It's the wounded warrior is here. Something that you weren't willing to give up on before. It's it's coming to where the straw is breaking the camel's back. And so you're daydreaming here about about something new. There's a new cup showing up here is what you're daydreaming about. A new beginning which is showing up here in your next energy with the ace of cups so what you're dreaming about is actually coming in for you and the old is falling down falling apart see death scorpio energy it's time for this ending to take place so that the new can come in pisces and that's what's showing up here the death card is scorpio energy why is the Ace of Cups here? You have the King of Cups. The Page of Cups. You have new love coming into your life, Pisces, and the Hangman. You may not even be looking for this new love, but it's lurking here in your energy and it's coming in. You have the four of pentacles here and the hangman and so there's an energy here of you not even taking any action or not doing anything and i'm seeing a message coming in well you're not expecting it from someone here that shows up as the king of cups this might be a water sign could be any sign but there's someone here that is going to um, come into your life and say very kind sweet things to you I mean this is the type of energy that you've manifested this is someone coming into your life that is not making you feel on pins and needles or guesswork this is someone new coming into your life that you have this comfort zone with this person it's like they match you energetically no matter what sign they are but they may very well be a water sign but it's someone here that matches you energetically and um there's this comfort zone that i'm feeling around this person why is the magician here yeah so you you've manifested this you've kept it to yourself hidden behind the veil the high priestess is here you pisces are the magician there's something here that you've manifested and this is inside of your heart it's something that you've kept to yourself the five of wands is here you may be the hermit is here on the bottom of the deck next to the five of wands and so I feel like some of you are fighting an inner battle about this, letting someone into your life. But I feel, I feel like you'll really be surprised with the energy that shows up here. Because it's going to feel like this, the star is here. It's going to feel like um, very refreshing and like a safety zone here a comfortability with another person okay the star is aquarius energy why is the star here the fool aries energy i'm feeling like this person's in your energy right now pisces but um, this is someone that has not stepped forward and spoken to you yet, but I'm seeing a message coming in here. The Hierophant. This is um, a higher level of commitment. This is much higher than the devil energy that's showing up in your energy right now. This is an actual commitment. A twin flame soul connection coming in. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, that you're supposed to walk towards because you're walking away from 
some pretty sketchy energy here, Pisces. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Ten of Coins. This new person I'm seeing coming into your life. And I've been seeing this for you guys. I feel like it's going to show up here. Um, like within the next few months. Because this is someone showing up. This is a long lasting connection here. You have the Ten of Coins here. Even though you may be fighting off resistance of making a judgment call about someone else that's in your life right now, you're going to have a choice between two. And one of these people is toxic. This is Gemini energy with the lovers. And then you have the king of coins here. The Wheel of Fortunes on the bottom of the deck. There's someone here coming around in divine timing. This connection is um, like a divine connection. This is someone that you're supposed to be with. Even though you may be fighting off right now, making a judgment call because you feel comfortable. In some way you feel comfortable just because maybe there's been some time and energy and effort that has gone into this energy of the devil this is something that is falling apart and i feel like you've known it was going to fall apart you could be dealing with someone here who's cold and they don't think about other people's feelings they're very self-centered they could have addictions but the wheel of fortune is turning here and there's someone else that's going to um, really take you out of this place of where you're feeling heartbreak over carrying around a lot of burdens here that belong to someone else, not you. And this is moving from this, carrying around all of this weight into this full energy, into letting it go. And a wish fulfillment. Your stars, everything... This, we have the star, we have the moon, we have the sun. Everything in this reading is lining up perfectly at the right time for this higher level of commitment to come into your life. And to, it's time now to close out a cycle here where you felt stuck. But I see there's a period of time here of you being single and letting this go and then i'm seeing someone here that's already in your energy that's going to be coming in why is judgment here strength it's a tough decision with strength showing up leo energy but the angels are calling you it's like wake up now see you got someone here that seems to be controlling things in your life but yet they're in and out of your life energetically and leaving you confused but this is changing the wheel of fortune fell out with this energy it's dying off and it's going to end why is the seven of wands here see you're not doing anything you're feeling stuck you're looking at the bigger picture here pisces see this new love is showing up as the king of pentacles so this could be someone who's financially stable owns their own business might be an earth sign but this is new love coming into your life but right now you're feeling stuck at a crossroads and you're looking at everything i'm seeing you here looking at everything that is surrounding you and your energy with um the hangman here and you see something and feel something that just isn't right and that devil energy is is what i'm seeing falling down and falling apart coming to an end <coughs> let's get advice from the universe pisces the first card you have is you have a new start is coming new moon Something here is over. 
Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. It's time to, to be the real you and to step out of your comfort zone, north node. And then you have, don't let your past hold you back, south node, and a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. All right, Pisces, have a great Mother's Day today. Um, before I let you go, let me um, have you pick one of the angel answer cards and ask your angels a question. Number one, number two, or number three. Okay. You can choose more than one if you're feeling called to do so. If you chose number one, something's going to happen in a year from now. If you chose number two, choose a new direction. Number three, listen to your intuition. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And for you guys who gave donations, thank you for that. And um, I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.